Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're gonna hop back into the horror game because we, we got a little bit of work to do to finish up this first, uh, I, I still don't know what to call these. Mini game? I, I don't know. Anyways, real quick side note, if you don't know, I am an avid motorcycle rider. I'm in the stunt community over here and yesterday I learned how to scrape, sort of. It's a very scary trick. I'll post a clip right here. It's gonna be a beautiful clip. Look at this. Yeah, pretty cool, right? And, and then one more clip. This one is the same thing except Except I fell. <laughs> Anyways, I was pretty proud of myself for that. And uh, anytime I learn something new, it's just uh, real nice. So I wanted to share it. Anyways, today, first things first, we need to design the rooms. At the current moment, all of them are just a copy and paste, and that means I can delete them. I want all of them to be a different shape to add to the scariness of the game. Because if they're all the same shape, it's like, okay, even if we're in a super dark alley, boom, we go in here, all right, we know what it is, we go in the next one, and it's gonna be the exact same thing. So I wanna make all of them different rooms, maybe one an electrical room, one uh, an office, maybe a break area with like broken coffee machine, maybe a, a filing room with a bunch of filing cabinets, and open drawers and papers and I think some sort of a containment room like somewhere for some sort of monster to break out of which could also add to the scariness. First things first I need to delete this decal or texture whatever it is this stain I hate that I hate how the uh the textures are laying on this it's actually gusting. So I guess first things first we will start with room number one aka the electrical room also which side do I want to start on? I feel like if you started on this side it would be better because the rooms would be closer and then as you go they spread out more and then this one I could put more at the end something like this and we could just stretch this wall and then of course we forgot to drag our door frame down so we could do that real quick as well all right so first room first it's gonna be right here and we're gonna do some sort of an electrical room I think I'm gonna use among us as a reference just because it works and I think it would be uh, that the, the best route at this point in time now guys i do gotta ask one thing this new roblox selection box uh do you love it or hate it okay i genuinely can't get used to it i feel like it's way harder to line stuff up and way harder to see how big a part is like look at this it's it's like i don't know i personally don't like it let me know if you like it down in the comments below but for me it is a no go i just it's not nice i just don't like it really at all and i don't know if you could go back I know you used to be able to by disabling the beta feature, but I don't think it's in beta anymore And now we're sort of stuck with it, but here we go. This will be room number one It seems a little small, but I think they're all gonna be a bit small. All right guys So I just finished the uh, the outline or the room template I guess you could call it so check it out. This will be the electrical room We've got it textured and we have one of our blinking lights in here now What I'm gonna do is set up every room's shape so exactly Exactly what I did here, this outline, we're gonna do for all of the rooms and they're all gonna have a slightly different shape. Up next, we have an office room, which I think will just be a square. And then we have a break room, which I'm thinking pretty much like this, but turned. So you'll come in on this side, like right here, and then you'll be able to go back more. I think that would be pretty cool. Add think of a couple other rooms too. But yes, we're gonna uh, shape all of them out or block them all out, add the textures onto them. So there is a little bit of variation. And then uh, we'll start filling in the inside. Oh man, oh man, oh man. So guys, we have all of the rooms done. Some are flipped, some are changed, etc. Pretty nice. And most have separated textures. So this one looks like this. Up next, we have this one looking like this. This one's the office. Real nice and creepy vibes. And we have, I believe this one was the break room. Ugh, still creepy. Don't remember what this one was. I named them though. Uh, the file room. And then the containment room. Now guys, Robo also fixed the lights. They used to have the sound playing like 100 percent of the time now it only plays when they flicker i missed it i missed it there you go so now you guys can hear the sound only plays when they flicker and they flicker very randomly like it's just a real random pattern but now we need to start building out the rooms i don't know if we're doing all of them today but we could definitely start with the oh no we're not starting with containment room that one's the coolest one we'll, we'll do that one kind of like last we'll start with the electrical room aka our among us inspired room and uh yeah i think we're gonna have an electrical box in the back right here 
dirt on the wall and then maybe like a thing sticking out like this wait let me do a quick little block out i think i have a i think i have a decent idea i can also never tell with this new selection tool if your part is under or on top of something i like i don't know if it's just me man all right i'm gonna have it like this and then let's have this right here on the wall as our breaker box in the back i like that then we're gonna have another line of stuff on this wall right here i want to have a, a wire going across the ground i think that'd be nice this has to go up a bit more something about right here then we're gonna put one over here too in the corner and i think i want to have some sort of like screen with something happening over here on the wall i don't know exactly what would be on this screen but i want something on it here and i think oh here would be better so you can actually see it when you walk in so we're gonna go right here for the screen and then over here we're not gonna put anything so here's sort of our layout for the electrical room this will be some sort of screen that's got something happening even if it's just static the static lines going on the screen these will just look like the uh, same thing kind of like among us on the walls and then back here will be the breaker box i do think having one more of these back here would be nice so it fills up the room just a little bit better and i also think it would be cool if we have a little angle on the top of this one and make it two instead of one so something like this let's open up archimedes and then something like this maybe a little bit more so i'm thinking something like this for this wall over here just to have a little bit of a difference we can gap those out a little bit and then when you walk in you'll see this tv or whatever it's going to be probably a tv and then you'll you'll kind of look around you'll see some electrical boxes and you'll have to find your way back here to do something probably hopefully anyways let's turn these blocks into actual uh actual nice models oh man am i excited to show you guys what we did so quickly i built this little uh electrical room as we stated i decided to add the tvs from the lobby for well two reasons one to be a bit lazy and two just so uh some stuff from the, the past makes its way back and it makes it feel like more of a cohesive project i feel like any sort of other screen or tv here would look a little strange and then i made this little bracket for it so it didn't look like they were just floating we got some boxes here we got this thing which you can go inside if you want to there may or may not be a jump scare there may or may not be a badge i i couldn't tell you another thing we did i think would be better if i showed you so first things first let's put our lighting back Back into lighting and really watch this game come to life look at this boom already 10 times scarier and a little more realistic one reason i didn't go heavy with the details on all this stuff i guess two reasons we can still still say the lazy thing i mean that's apparent but it's so dark that it doesn't matter and there's no reason to flood up the game with a bunch of parts that you're not really gonna notice anyways but check it out if we hop into the game i'm gonna just let you guys listen so real quick All right, guys, hopefully that makes you a little excited. We've added on some neon signs on top of the doors so you can actually see the doors. Uh, we might need to make this a little bit darker because it doesn't, doesn't really seem dark enough, but I do think everything in all is pretty sick. The lights don't turn on until you find and flip this switch, and uh, the sound now only plays when the light flickers, which is really cool. Also, the TVs, of course, have a little bit of sound, which I may need to make a little bit quieter, but this is the electrical room in the next video on this horror game build. We will be making the office right here, guys. This one should be another fun one. Anyways, that is gonna wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, later.